morning guys so we are currently in front of the Alamo we're starting off our morning here because we have a friend uh, Frank who's running or starting this morning with his 100 mile run uh, to raise fund and funds and awareness for autism so this is how we're gonna start off our morning today and then uh, we'll keep moving on so we're gonna run a couple miles with them and then we're gonna head back home and meet him later tomorrow morning the goal is not to you know go crazy and like go hard for the first 20 miles and then you know collapse the goal is to finish 24 hours to make, this, to make it happen we got all systems in place uh, we got our safety vehicle we got, it's a hard fight yeah but the struggles of those families is a lot harder and that's why we're doing this and that's why we're going to make it happen uh, because those voices need to be heard and those families need a voice and, and we're going to be their voice for them today and every day afterwards and next year and the following year so you guys can check this out to me thank you guys yeah, all right so um from here we're going to go all right, here we go. Mile one out of 100, we're taking off. 24 hours, 100 miles throughout San Antonio. All right, we're about to hit the two mile mark. We're probably gonna separate from here because we gotta go do our own things, but we'll be following him, probably need to meet him up a couple times and finish back at the Alamo tomorrow around 8 a.m. in Potit, uh, Texas. It's about a 40 minute drive from San Antonio, give or take. Um, and so we are at the annual Potit Strawberry Festival. Uh, this year's the 75th year. It's the very first time Blanca and myself are out here. So we're going to explore, check it out, and see what it's all about. Um, it's a lot of history here as, as to how it got started. So we're pretty excited. Uh, it looks like Blanca Mateo got started real quick when she got here. So a little bit of history here. Uh, it began in 1948, where the Petit Rotary Club got together uh, to uh, incentivize World War II veterans to come back to the farms uh, to provide for the families. We're coming across the little show. show. Let's Can check it out. Smile real big and act like you wanted to do it.
move your feet till I ask. And don't drop me on purpose. Hold it. Don't take the picture yet. Here we go. I call this the $20 trick. Yeah, you're not laughing now. You cheap bastard. Watch, under the leg. Please, God, I need the money. One, two. So they call this a Poteet Strawberry Festival, or the Strawberry Festival, so we're gonna try. So we're gonna go ahead and try something with strawberries. Um, hopefully it's as good as we expect it to be, or anticipating it to be. Amazing, this is okay. I wanted to try, see what it was. Got our strawberry pond on. Thank you. Okay. It's HB ice cream. Wait, baby. So I've had strawberry shortcake before, but I must say this is really, really, really good. Someone give, someone give Mateo a little ice cream. All right, so once again, we are at the Poteet Strawberry, annual Poteet Strawberry Festival. This year, celebrating its 75th anniversary. It's called Zero Gravity, and it honestly looks like you have like a little band around your waist, and that's it, you just gotta hold on. Now you know they brought out the big carnival when you got these. I have not seen or ridden these things in so long. I think the last time I've seen them are back in San Antonio and Fiesta, Texas. Baby, what you got? <laughs> Alright, here we go. We only have a few tickets left, so I think we found something Mateo can ride. Alright, right, let's check your height. Mateo! Mateo! Oh, okay. Turn, 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 turn. 
Final thoughts on the Strawberry Festival. Um, we were a bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, we were going with certain expectations. I would never say high expectations, but we were going with certain expectations of going to a festival that's gonna offer all kinds of foods, desserts, uh, including strawberries, right? And that is just not what we saw. Um, it was fun for sure, but I just don't know if we'll be back. Hey, good morning, guys, it's Sunday. Uh, the following day after our friend Frank uh, started his 100 mile journey at the Alamo a couple blocks from here and um, yeah we're here in front of the Tobin Center for the performing arts this is where we have a couple of uh, memorials and this is where he'll be making a stop uh, prior to finishing off his 100 mile journey at the Alamo so we're just here we got here early uh, to jump in on the finish Let's go, baby! We just made history! Yeah! Yeah!